Well, my friends, I'm so into my oatmeal that I made, that I showed you how I made, because it's so incredibly delicious, that um, I measured out my milk this morning to see if I would have enough, and I really didn't think I would. I could make my oatmeal with how much milk I had. Like, it's just a little bit less than a cup, and what I need is a cup. But I also make this evening drink with milk recently, so I'm just gonna go get it now because last time I went and got milk at night um, It was like all gone and I had to get a smaller one I want to get a big one because I'm really feeling this milk at the moment But like preparing it in a certain way because I've been reading in Ayurveda uh, The benefits of milk, but most of us are drinking the milk not in such a beneficial way in the lens of Ayurveda because most of us are drinking it cold right out of the fridge uh, pasteurized as well as homogenized or an ice cream and things like that and for it to really work its magic in the body from an Ayurvedic perspective is it's best to have it warm and also with spices mixed in it that make it more easily absorbed and um, not as mucus forming if it's with the spices but it also says uh, that the best milk to get is raw unpasteurized milk but then before drinking it to bring it to a boil which when I was drinking raw milk before I was drinking just drinking it raw right out of the fridge and so I'm on this whole other milk journey so we'll see so far it's feeling really good and really nourishing in my body and just like so satisfying and delicious so I'm really excited as well as in this video oh my goodness my camera dang the battery's gonna why does this always happen the battery's about to die I don't have another one with me but I'm gonna explain my hair cutting nightmare story that I told you a couple videos ago that I was gonna talk about but I never did y'all are gonna be like what the hell it's crazy that this happened um and then I want to talk about I was gonna talk about it on the drive but since my battery is gonna die I'll just talk about it at some other point in this video um, but what I've been up to like the past couple days and a special experience that I had and yes Got it. I'm glad I went early because there was only three and chances are they would have been gone if I waited till more later or in the evening time before I have my evening beverage. Okay, now we can make oatmeal. When I moved in here from my other place, I was able to bring three plants only. I had to leave a bunch of my plants behind because I just there's just not space or the lighting for it. My windows are super high up. Um, and my spider plant is really struggling. My middle plant is actually doing a lot better than it was. And actually, this vine plant is so much happier than it was. I think because of the way I have it positioned where one of its longest vines just gets to spread out on this whole ledge up here. I think at the other place it was suffering a little bit because I moved it around uh, when I moved and then moved back in and then was in my living in my car for a while and then moved back in. Um, and it was just kind of coiled around the plant for a while. So I think when I brought it here, or it was coiled around the pot for a while. So I think when I brought it here, it was like, yes, I could spread my wings. Um, but there's one part of it that I feel like, you know how you prune trees? I think if I just 
prune kind of the end part of it, it's going to be happier and be able to put more of its energy into the other part of the vine because it's just kind of like the tail end of it and there's no leaves or anything growing so i think i'm gonna prune it i hope it's good for it i don't really know and then for my spider plant this guy just really doesn't seem very happy maybe it needs some like more nutritious soil uh, maybe it needs some nutrients put in there i'm probably just gonna bring it over to hadley's and he can assess it and help me out maybe it just isn't getting enough sun so We'll see, but for now I'm just gonna prune this wonderful vine and hopefully that's a good thing for it. You know what, after assessing it, something amazing has happened and let me show you. So, okay, so this is what I was thinking of pruning off just because it's like this end of the vine and there's nothing on it and it, it goes this, it goes all the way over there with just no leaves on it or so I thought and then I came up to prune it and it has this one growing so all the way down here there's all this coil and just a lot with no leaves or nothing going on but at like the very end you see this at the very end we have this new growth coming out so i'm just gonna leave it because i definitely don't want to cut that off but there are some like dead leaves over there so i think i'll just get those off Well, that was much less eventful than it was going to be, but I did uh, start activating my nuts, or I activated my nuts yesterday. and then I put them in the dehydrator. And they have been dehydrating for 23 hours at 113 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's just check on them and see if they're ready or if they'll be done in an hour or if they need more time. Ready. Mmm. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. If you've never had raw activated almonds, they are freaking incredible. But honestly, you have to make sure that they're not coming from California. Because even if you're buying raw California almonds, they've been pasteurized. Unless maybe you go to a farmer's market and you talk directly to the person growing the almonds, then maybe they are really raw and they're not lying to you. But it's like law that they have to be pasteurized. So. These almonds actually come from another country. I get them from Good Earth. And they're actually, I often order nuts on nuts.com, but their raw almonds and their raw cashews are cheaper at Good Earth. They're only 10 bucks a pound, and they're much more on nuts.com. But let's try, are my cashews ready? Hmm, 
Mm, God dang, that's delicious. Almonds are ready. I'm gonna... I'll let both these go for the full hour and then I'm gonna take out the almonds, but I'm gonna leave the cashews for some more hours. They still have some like moisture in them. Um, and then I'm just going to soak my peanuts because I have raw peanuts that I'm gonna activate as well. All right, so before I share my hair cutting nightmare story, um, I just wanna share that about an experience that I had recently. And it was basically on New Year's Day, uh, me, my mom, and Hadley were invited to uh, Kelly and Solani's house, who if you do watch my videos, you may have seen them playing Mbita music uh, in Hadley's backyard they had a concert and I think I took some clips and featured it in a video though I can't quite say for sure or what video anyways we were invited over there and it was um, a special occasion because Solani was just coming back from Zimbabwe and that's where he's from in Africa so it was a gathering and a celebration welcoming him back with beautiful Mbita music and also music from other uh, African traditions and I want to say Malewe because someone was speaking about it, but I can't quite remember the name, unfortunately. But I live a life where I'm around so much different cultures and cultural musics in particular because Hadley is um, a musician and specializes in African drumming and was a teacher for African drumming for a long time and studied with masters and Hadley is a master in his own right. Like he's a really incredible African drummer as well as he's a classical pianist and piano player, but really amazing African drummer. He can, oh my gosh, if you, you may have seen him in some of my videos, but he's really, really good. And so I just want to share a few clips right here of the vibes and the Mbita music and how it went down in the space because it was just a really wonderful experience and I want to share it with you guys so that you can see some amazing things that may be quite foreign in your life because for me it's like I'm the one living my life so things seem really normal to me but I understand that like we all have our different unique lives and so it may not be normal in your life so you get to experience a little of what I just experienced. <laughs>
if you guys are interested and enjoy those clips, there is more wonderful music from Zimbabwe, wonderful Mbira music. Do you guys know what the Mbira is? Such an amazing instrument. And Salani actually makes Mbiras, which is really, really cool and really, really special. And I'm gonna link their social medias and YouTube in the description box. So if anyone's interested, you guys can check them out. Okay, my freaking story. <laughs> Pretty much, I was not trying to get my hair this short. Let me just right off the bat. Um, I'm cool with it, it's whatever, but it was not my intention. I was kind of thinking, hmm, I could use the hair trim. And I was like, should I do what I normally do, which is cut it myself? But the last time I did go to a salon to get it like straight around and I was like, well, it's still kind of straight and I wanted to stay straight. So I think I'll go to a salon uh, to get a trim. And I happened to be on a walk one day and I walked by like a nail place and a window and it said $15 haircuts. And I was like, oh, that's a good price because, um, that was the best price that I've seen. <laughs> you know, everything, the cost of everything has gone up. I remember when it was really easy to get just like a basic $15 little hair trim, but it's kind of not anymore. So I was like, oh, I can go in there. And so I went in there and there was no one else there. It was like a nail salon slash haircutting facility. And I was like, oh, I don't have an appointment or anything, but I could use a haircut. And they were like, okay. So I sat in the chair and he just started cutting my hair. He didn't even like spritz it or anything. He just started cutting it dry. And he took his scissors and just started cutting it straight around, which, you know, that's what I do when I cut my hair myself. But when there is, when I'm going to a salon, I've never had that done before. Like they always clip it up and like, you know, do more like a fancy cut. And that just was not happening. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. Plus the scissors. <laughs> so I could hear the scissors like open and close. It was like, I have hair cutting scissors myself and the quality of these scissors was something i've never experienced like ever in my life it was almost like they were just regular scissors they were hair cutting scissors i mean i think i hope so but they were getting stuck so they would go into my hair it would go and then it would like like uh stick to pull back apart and i was like sitting in the chair and i was like this isn't good <laughs> But I remained in the chair because I was like, you know what, it's okay. I'm used to cutting my hair myself, right? So I'm like, eh, it's fine. Doesn't have the best scissors, that's okay. But then he ends up, you know, going all the way around. And for one thing, it was shorter than I wanted it to be. And I was like, wow, he's cutting more off. But I didn't really notice until... <laughs> until he went all the way around and then i was like whoa just hang on a minute like this part was way higher than this part so it was totally uneven and way shorter and i i got up from my chair and i was like look this is a crazy haircut like this is way shorter than this he's like oh you know sit back down but by this time the shorter part was already shorter than i wanted it to be and I was like, if I keep letting this guy cut my hair, who is cutting it, it was like an untrained, like anyone could cut hair like that. It was crazy that this was like a salon. And so I ended up saying, look, I can't keep letting you cut my hair. Like, I'm really sorry, but um, you've cut it shorter than I wanted it to be and it's really uneven like I need to just stop here and leave so that's what I did <laughs> I stopped and I left and uh, I ended up going to another salon and interestingly enough so because it's like short like this I just want it like you know all one length all the way around and so I went to this other salon 
and it was obviously more expensive still on the lower end of what haircuts cost but like more expensive than $15 that was a steal I, no wonder <laughs> you know you you get what you pay for sometimes and at this other salon It looked like, you know, she cut it and I was like just so grateful. It was like so much better than the previous uh, experience. But when I left and I got home and I straightened it, I realized that, wow, like it's really not even all the way around. So anyways, I ended up going back to her and she was like, oh, you're right. And ended up trimming it completely straight. So that's my story that's how i wound up with hair that was shorter than i wanted it to be but Wow guys, it's windy as heck out here. So I'm on a little after dinner walk and we have a excessive wind warning going on. So it kind of comes in spurts. Like right now, there's not much wind. I thought it was a good time to film because wind and filming. Um, but every once in a while, it's like this giant burst of wind. So we've got a big storm rolling in. I think there's going to be excessive wind till like tomorrow night and then lots of rain and stuff. Um, so it's super cool being out on a walk in like all different type of conditions like super windy um, especially because I have like my raincoat which is also a windbreaker so that helps. But anyways, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss any of my future videos. I love you all so much. And uh, thanks again, and I'll see you next time.